All right, guys. So the last time I did anything with a rock tumbler, you guys were so butthurt that I didn't use any type of aggregate or sand or anything like that because I left pennies in the rock tumbler for 30 days and it was just pennies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna redo that experiment, except now I bought two two barrel rock tumblers. So now I have five barrels. So usually we leave things in jars for 30 days. So today we're gonna leave five things in rock tumblers for 30 days. Our first barrel, our first item, of course, we're gonna redo the pennies. There we go. Oh, one escaped. And yes, this time I do have aggregate. I think it's four, I think I have four stages. Yeah, there's four stages, one for each week. So it's gonna be equal out to be 30 days. The second thing we're gonna leave inside of the rock tumbler, something we're gonna get really crazy and we're gonna leave rocks inside the rock tumbler. So this, these are actually the rocks that came with that, came with this rock tumbler because as you can tell, these are kind of different. These go to the two barrel rock tumbler and these are obviously bigger. So let's just these out. I don't know anything about rocks. So, I mean, it looks like, it looks like we got some good ones here. Some green ones and some brown ones and some, I don't know anything about rocks. They all look hard to me. So I'm just gonna put all these in here. All right, our third item, and one that, that I personally am really excited for, dice. I'm really curious to see what's gonna happen to the dice. Oh, these come with a little bag. Don't need that. I'm going to assume that they're gonna turn around. Hopefully, that's what I'm hoping. That'd be really, really cool. Really, hopefully, since with all these different colors and everything, and I purposely got ones with different colors, so hopefully they will turn <laughs> Hopefully they turn into something cool. Now our fourth item, and something else that I'm really curious to see, is marbles. What? There's a there's big marbles in here? I didn't know this thing had big marbles in it. I thought it was just all, all the little ones. But anyway, I want to do marbles because I'm curious to see, since usually with a rock tumbler, usually you take something really rough and make it smooth. I'm kind of curious to see what happens if you take something that's already smooth and put it in the rock tumbler. We're definitely gonna throw this big one in here. Oh, there's two big ones. Let's throw both of the big ones in here. There's like a medium one. Oh, uh, that might be a little too much. Let's go, let's go with that many, about half full. All right, and now for the fifth and final item. No, it's not plastic. I'm going to sacrifice two mason jars and we're gonna put a bunch of broken glass. Actually, we'll probably do one at a time. We're gonna put a bu bunch of broken glass in there and see what happens to broken glass inside of a rock tumbler. So I got my survival cane, if you saw that video, three, Two, one. That's pretty good. I was thinking I was gonna need two. Break it up into some smaller pieces. Okay, that looks better. All right, I think actually one jar is probably gonna do it. So all that broken glass that went everywhere, that'll be fun for somebody to pick up. It's not gonna be me. All right, now let's start filling all these up with the grit. There are four different types of grit that come with this pack. There's a coarse, a medium, a pre-polish, a final polish. So I will be doing all the steps. I'm gonna let each one run for a week. I don't know what it is exactly. It kind of just feels like sand, honestly. Two scoops for each barrel. Two for you, two for you, two for you. Next thing we gotta do that it says in the instructions is to fill them up, fill each barrel up to the water is just even with, it says rocks, but obviously whatever's in there. I hope that these other ones are watertight because I don't, I didn't read the instructions. 
Nothing's leaking out. I like this bar this barrel that, the, that I'm putting the pennies in, this rock tumbler. I like this barrel a lot more. You can see how, how squishy it is. These barrels, like, they still squish, but like, they're not nearly as pliable as this one. I really, I like this one better. I wish this came in these sizes. All right, I think you, I think you guys get the idea. I'm just gonna put the lids on them. All right, so we got everything loaded up. These are the, the two new tumblers, the two double barrel tumblers. You can see they just sit side by side. Then of course, this is the single barrel tumbler that I had in the last video. So I was gonna turn these on so you could see how loud it's gonna be with all of them running at the same time, but I don't have enough extension cords to run them all over here. All right, so it has been one week that all of our items have been inside of the tumblers. Like I said in the, in the beginning, each stage, there's four stages of grit, so I'm gonna be doing four of these updates. Although since this stage, the very first one is the most aggressive grit, I can only assume that this is gonna be where we're gonna see the most changes. And then because there's a very, I forget what the word, a very aggressive grit, then there's a medium, and then there's a pre-polish and a polish. So the pre-polish and the polish, we're probably not gonna see much, but these next two stages should be where we're gonna see the most changes. So the first thing we have is we have our pennies. And before we start looking at the pennies, as you saw, whenever I put them in the that shorter barrel, the a barrel that I had them in originally, I don't know what it is, and it even did it because, I'll get to it here in a second, but I put them in that barrel, put the grit and everything in there, and then let them run, and within, probably within like six hours, that barrel had built up so much pressure that the lid had blown off of it, and it, the uh, lid had hit the wall of the garage, and then all the grit and water and pennies were just laying all over the garage floor. So I thought, hmm, that's kind of weird. So I figured maybe it was just like, I don't, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just like the initial, like coating or something being rubbed off of them that was like causing it to build up pressure, build up foam or, you know, whatever was happening. So I put all the pennies back in there and then it ran for probably about 24 hours or so, blew the lid off again. And I started looking at the tumblers. The smaller tumbler spins faster than the two double barrel tumblers. So I thought, okay, I'll put switch them to the double barrel tumblers where they spin slower. So that way it, Maybe where they're just spinning so fast, it's causing it to build up pressure. So I switched, so I switched the tumblers, and then within like two days, maybe a day and a half, it blew off the lid on those on that tumbler. So what I had to do was I had to I put out all the panties, dried them, and then the last however many days it was left, three or four or whatever, I took out all the water, dried off all the panties, and then the panties have just been spinning just just dry without any. They, with the aggregate, but without any water. So I think that's how I'm just gonna have to keep the pennies going for the rest of the times without water because it's just gonna keep blowing the lid off of the, the barrel for whatever reason. So whenever we look at these pennies, obviously, obviously this isn't all of them, but they all look pretty much exactly the same. Whenever you look at them, I don't know how much you can see on camera, but I can see in person that they just look kind of smooth. There's not really a whole lot going on. And I'm assuming that, that that is because somebody left a comment of this and I haven't double checked it. Somewhere like 1983, 84, 74, 64, something, somewhere around that time frame, they quit using all copper pennies. And then ever since then, I think they have, I think it's made of like zinc with a copper coating. So I would say that the reason that these are all so dark and don't have any copper left on any of them, and I even uh, took them all out and took like a toothbrush and like tried to scrub them down because I figured that maybe they were just like stained from the aggregate or whatever. But as far as I can tell, it's just the copper coating has just been completely gone. And this is just whatever's underneath that coating, zinc or whatever. And our second item is our rocks. And it, I'm honestly pretty impressed. All the rocks are completely smooth, no sharp edges. Especially this one, this one just looks like a, like a perfect little square. All the corners are rounded off. It's doing its job. Then this next one is one that I am really impressed with and I, do, I had no idea that this would happen. Or not no idea, but I'm really surprised that, it, that it's working out this way. That is our broken glass. And this is just, this obviously this isn't all of it, this is just some of the bigger pieces that I think are looking really good. Every single edge, of this glass is completely round now and everything is smooth and round. I mean, I get it. That's kind of the, that's kind of, you know, what a, what a rock tumbler is going to do, but I wouldn't have thought that it would have done this with, with glass. Like this piece looks just like a knife and it's something that, you know, oh, just, just to think that this is something that 
a week ago, you could have just sliced yourself open with it, and now it's just so round and so filed down that it's completely smooth. I'm really, I'm actually, I'm pretty excited to see how this stuff is going to come out whenever it's all nice and polished, if it's going to look like just as clear as like regular glass does. And next up we have our dice. Now this, these are really, I mean, I'm kind of impressed because the dice apparently are made of something very hard. Like I said in the beginning, I was hoping that these would kind of like be really rounded and you know, like almost like be made into like a marble shape. It looks like virtually nothing has happened to these dice. The only thing that looks different is that they look kind of frosted from where the, the finish has been taken off. There's virtually nothing that's happened to these dice. So, and then last but not least is the marbles. And I know I said in the beginning that I, you know, didn't know you know, what to expect or anything with these marbles. Obviously these look, you know, frosted too, just because the coating's been taken off. But what I've noticed is, especially with this one, you can tell, you can tell by the way it rolls, but it has a, a big, it has a big flat spot on it right here. So uh, you can kind of tell how it just kind of like wobbles back and forth or whatever. Like this one, it just, to me, it just looks smaller than it, than some of the other ones. This one, has a flat spot in it too. You can tell how the, by the way it rolls. I mean, I guess somehow one of these could get like lodged and just like, I don't know, maybe get stuck somehow so it gets a flat spot. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, that's what's happening. So we have everything back into their barrels. And then just like the first time, we're gonna add two spoonfuls of grit to each one. This is a medium grit. 180 to 220 silicone carbide, if you care. Put two scoops in each one. Really two heaping scoops. And then these four are gonna get water, and then, like I said before, the pennies are just gonna be dry. All right, now I'll put the tops on them and get them back on the tumblers, and I'll see you in a week. All right, guys, this is our second update on our rock tumblers. This is, now they have been running for two weeks, one week with the, uh, whatever the, the aggressive grit was, and then this past week with the slightly less aggressive grit, <laughs> whatever it is. First thing, there's really, not really a whole lot has changed, just to be honest, it's just it's very slight changes. But I did dig out the marbles, and whenever you look at the marbles, you can look at these marbles and you can see in this hand, you can see the ones that haven't been in a rock tumbler, and then you can see the, in this one, the ones that have, you can see just how much these marbles have shrunk. I would say less than half the size, easily. So that's the biggest, that's really the biggest change that I've noticed in really any of these, but that's pretty crazy. So by the end, these are probably gonna be like, who knows, the size of like a little BB or something by the end, but so that's pretty interesting. Let's move on to our rocks. Our rocks, let's see. I think maybe this one, maybe this one too. I feel like these three and maybe this one, I feel like these have gotten significantly smaller. I almost wish that I had the original ones to compare them to, but I feel like, especially this one, I feel like this little square one, I feel like this one has gotten way smaller. Of course, I don't really have a, a true way to test that, but still, even with the rocks, not a whole lot's changed. Next up, let's take a look at our dice, which as you can see, have absolutely not changed one bit. They still have, they still have all of the paint, maybe under like, maybe a microscope, you could tell maybe the corners have been rounded like a little bit, but I really don't think so. I think they are the exact same. The only difference being that the finish is less shiny. Now let's take a look at our glass pieces. Just a little bit more rounded. Nothing really crazy. I mean, here's our little, little like knife-like piece from last time. This uh, obviously still very dull. There's, there's not really a whole lot to say. All this stuff, it's just more, just more rounded, more sanded down. And now we move on to the pennies, which in my opinion, I think are virtually a lost cause at this point because like I said in the beginning, the copper coating or whatever has just been completely taken off and the zinc is what I'm almost positive now is under there. 
That's all that's left. I've scrubbed these. This obviously isn't all the pennies, but these are the ones that I have like scrubbed and tried to clean as much up as possible. You can still, I don't know if you can see it on camera where it's so dark, but in person I can see that you can still see all the markings. You can see it still says one cent. You can see a blink in, but everything is just very smooth and very faded. Maybe like this one. Some of these are so, so bad that you can't even tell what it is. It's just flat. But this week we start the polishing process. This is the, for the next week that will be running a 500 grit silicone carbide pre-polish. So, of course, we probably won't notice any difference with the pennies. But I'm interested in the I'm interested in the glass and these marbles because obviously both of these started off. The glass obviously started off completely clear, and the marbles were pretty much clear, and now they're very cloudy. So. Now that the pre-polish, I'm pretty, I'm curious to see how, how much shinier it's going to get just with a, a pre-polish and then of course the polish. And just like before, everything is going to get two scoops. Another thing I forgot to mention was, I believe, I told you in the, in the, on the first time that whenever I had the water in the panties, it was building up pressure and kept blowing the lid off. And I can't remember which one it was. It might have been, it was either the marbles or the glass. The second time around I started doing that, although it never got to the point of blowing the lid off because I kept catching it in time, but it got to the point to where I would have both um, both barrels in the tumbler and the bottoms would bow out so much they would roll out of the tumbler because they didn't have you know they didn't have any more room to expand. So I don't know what that was about because they didn't do it in the beginning and they just did it with the that medium grit or whatever. And two for you. And now all of them will get water except for the pennies. So we know what kind of results that causes. All right. I'll see you in a week. All right, this is week number three. We're gonna make this one kind of fast because not a whole lot has changed. The rocks, they still look pretty much exactly the same. You can tell that Maybe they're a little bit polished, a tiny bit, but really not much. They pretty much look exactly the same. The pennies, as you would expect, pretty much exactly the same. You can see, if you can see it here where they're so dark, they, they kind of look like they're, you know, they're smoothed out a little bit. Maybe they're polished a little bit, but in reality, not much has changed. Let's move on to the marbles. Marbles, same thing, basically no change. And especially where these are glass, you can kind of tell. I don't, I mean, maybe they, they're a little bit polished. I can kind of tell a little bit that they're starting to maybe get where they need to be. But, I mean, in reality, not much. The only thing that I did notice, and I don't remember where it is, there's this marble right here that for some reason has got a dimple on it now. And like it, I'm assuming maybe it got like, like caught against something and then it like in the, in the tumbler, it was just like rolling against it. And that's how it got this dimple. But it's the only one like that. Other than that, virtually no change. The dice, absolutely no change whatsoever. They're not, I don't, <sighs> I wouldn't even say that they're really polished. Maybe a tiny bit. The paint's still there. Everything still looks pretty much exactly the same it is as it was before. So whatever kind of epoxy or whatever these dice are made out of, it's extremely hard. And now for the one that I believe is becoming my favorite is the glass. The glass, it still looks pretty much the same. There was, I, think, I believe it was this piece or maybe this one that I, not only did I, oh, scrub off all of the um, all of the aggregate I took some Windex and like actually scrubbed it down thinking that maybe like maybe the haze was just like uh, part of where the aggregate was like drying on the glass or something because it does it just it doesn't even look like anything happened even after a week of being in a pre-polish it looks basically exactly the same maybe the the final polish will make it clear again I have no idea let's get these into Back into the barrels with our final polish. And now for the polish. 
which if you are wondering is a 1200 grit fine aluminum oxide that is the polish Ooh, that looks like milk in there. All right, looks good to me. I'll get these things back on the tumblers and I'll see you in a week. All right guys, well, our 30 day rock tumbling extravaganza has come to an end. And before we look at this stuff, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you the, the results aren't really super impressive. At least I'm not really impressed with them. The, they're really, nothing really looks too much different than it did last week. Maybe my expectations were a little bit too high. I don't really know, but nonetheless, let's take a look at this stuff. Obviously here, we're gonna start off first with the rocks. And like I said, they don't really look a whole lot different than they did last week. But there's something I'm gonna show you here in a second with these. I mean, obviously they look way better than they did, you know, from the very beginning compared to now, there's a big difference, but from the pre-polish to the polish, I mean, I don't notice hard, I don't notice any difference at all. Maybe just slightly. But whenever you get these rocks wet, let me get them wet. This is what I expected. Whenever you look at them wet, you can see, you can see how much different, how much shinier they are, and they just look way better. This is like this is the look that I expected whenever they get done with the polish. Now, like I said, maybe my expectations were a little bit too high. Maybe to get this type of a shine on these rocks, maybe that's like a whole other series of steps, or maybe that you just need way finer uh, polish or whatever. I don't really know. I don't really have any experience with rock tumbling. So I think the results are kind of eh. I think they could have been better, but so that's it for the rocks. Now let's just get it out of the way, get the pennies out of the way. You can see that they obviously look exactly the same. They're just pretty much solid black now and you can't really they, you know, they just kind of look faded. Obviously this isn't all of them. These are just the ones that I really scrubbed hard and tried to get as much off of them as I could. Basically no difference between now and after the first week. Like I've said throughout this entire video, I'm pretty sure that it just took the, you know, the outside copper coating off and then we're left with the zinc. So nothing exciting here. Now let's move on to the glass. It's still like frosted and it still pretty much looks Let's see, there's that little knife piece that we've you know been looking at throughout this entire video. It still looks, I mean, I would argue that this almost looks pretty much the same as it did um, after the second week. I was really, really hoping that with that polish that, you know, obviously since this is what it started off as, if this, like say this little knife piece, if this could get back to being clear and like almost perfect like this, I think that would look really awesome. and. Especially like pieces, just odd pieces like this, if you get them back to be, you know, really clear and perfect again. Or not perfect, but you know what I'm saying? You could see through them really clearly. I would actually probably tumble glass in my free time just because it looks cool. But, like I said before, if one of you take into consideration that, like, say this piece is something that in the beginning, like after it first got broke, would, would have like, you know, just sliced your hand open and then, you know, how it's been worn down and rounded, that is still pretty cool, but... I just wish it was clear and not frosted like this. Like I said, it pretty much looks the same as it did last week. Moving on to the marbles. And probably some of the ones, something that has had the biggest change, if you don't count these big ones right here, if you take these big ones out of, out of the equation, which like I said in the beginning, I wish I would have left one of these out and kept one of these in so we could see how much it shrunk. This is what they did look like particularly this, these two right here. These probably, I'm sure, started off exactly the same. And then you can see, obviously, the before and the after. They've shrunk, I would say, I mean, what would you say that is? Probably a fourth of the size that it was. If these could be polished back to be just as clear as they originally were, but be this small, I think that'd be kind of unique and kind of cool. The one before that had like a little dimple in it, I still don't think, I mean, obviously it's just polished up a little bit and it's a little bit shinier than it was to begin with. But I think that, I actually think that dimple has got, got bigger from last week. But anyway, that's the marbles. Pretty much all they did was shrink and 
get frosty. All right, so now that we're done looking at all of the results and everything, I'm just gonna quickly tell you about the equipment that I used, you know, the rock tumblers that I used, just in case you're thinking about getting into rock tumbling because there's some things that I learned and there's some things that you need to know. This tumbler, this is the one that I used in the original video where I just did the pennies in a rock tumbler. That was this tumbler, a Dr. Cool hobby tumbler. I'm sure you could probably search that on Amazon. That's where I got it. This tumbler, I absolutely love this tumbler. This thing is great. I've had zero problems out of this tumbler and I've used it twice as much as these tumblers because obviously I used it in the original video that's 30 days and this video is 30 days. I haven't had to change a belt, nothing. And as you can see, it's all dirty and stuff because like I explained, the pennies kept blowing the lid off the tumbler and then all the water and grit would just leak all over this thing and even the belt was wet and it kept spinning. No problems with this tumbler whatsoever. Even, there was even one day that whenever this lid blew off, the whole lid blew off, soaked this whole thing in all the grit and everything, the belt was wet and all the pennies, the tumbler, the barrel itself was still sitting here rolling with the lid off of it. And it was still going just fine. So this tumbler is great. Both of these are, are Chicago Electric that I got from Harbor Freight. And obviously, as you can tell, this one has the, has the screws and stuff taken off of it because these are hit or miss is what I'm assuming, because obviously I only have experience with two of them. But what I can tell you from, from these two is that this one, perfect. No problems. Not even, not even a minute's trouble out of this one. Haven't had to do anything, haven't had to touch anything, nothing. This one has been a complete nightmare, and I don't know why. Like I've taken both of these apart and just like compared them. Whenever you get these, the drive belts, obviously that turn the rollers that spin the barrels it comes with it comes with it comes with a belt on it and then it comes with five spare belts this tumbler it broke the it broke eight belts it broke the belt that it came with it broke all five spare belts two belts that came out of this one so it's on its ninth belt and i don't know why the only thing other than it, there just being like a quality control issue you're supposed to, in the instructions with these, you're supposed to lube the rollers once a week. This one, I haven't lubed it since I got it whatsoever, not even once. This one, I was lubing it like, once after it broke the first two belts, I figured, okay, it's by, I went through the instructions, I figured, okay, you know, it probably needs lube, that's probably why it's breaking belts. And I started lubing it like every, every other day and sometimes multiple days in a row for the rest of this entire video and it still just continually broke belts. This kind of tumbler, great. These are hit or miss. So if you're gonna get into rock tumbling, I would, re I, would, I would recommend a single barrel tumbler, not a double barrel tumbler, unless it's like a, a high quality one. But these ones from Harbor Freight, you could, <laughs> you're just pretty much just playing the lottery, whether you're gonna get a good one or a bad one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If there's anything that you wanna see me leave in a rock tumbler again for a long period of time, Put it in the comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.